Thanks so much. Uh, delighted to be here in the White Horse in Ballincollig. Uh, great venue, uh, great people. And um, I'd like to start off with a song called Johnny Don't Go to Ballincollig, which was a kind of a flagship number for me, um, the first song on my first solo album. And um, I suppose I spent a lot of time trying to form an identity as a musician. I started off as a rock and roller, and uh, rock and roll is kind of Americana, and I tried to not be Americana and try and uh, work with um, my own accent in the singing, uh, Cork-like. And so this is a song that definitely put Cork City as the centre of the universe and uh, Ballincollig uh, as the um, outlying satellite town. <laughs> Oh, Johnny, don't go to Ballancolic where you always get so disappointed. Johnny, don't go, Johnny, don't go, don't go, stay in town. Johnny, don't go to Carrigaline, I'm not coming with you this time. You only go to get let down. Johnny, don't go, Johnny, don't go, Johnny, don't go, stay in town. If you go up to Mallow, better beware of the big black water. If you went as far as Mala, you might never again come down. Johnny, don't go, Johnny, don't go, don't go, stay in town. Oh, Johnny, don't go calling that woman. You know she left you behind. If you go and call that woman, I'm not coming with you this time. Johnny, don't go, Johnny, don't go, don't go, stay in town. Johnny, don't go to the banks of the Shannon. Don't go to the banks of the Nile. Don't go to London Tower. Hang around another while. Johnny, don't go, Johnny, don't go, don't go. Stay in town It's your round Don't go to the Crystal Palace Don't go to the hole in the wall Don't go to the big television Hey Johnny don't go at all Johnny don't go, Johnny don't go Johnny don't go Stay in town Where would you be going? 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 Johnny don't go, Johnny don't go Don't go Stay in town Johnny don't go to Carrigaline I'm not coming with you this time You only go to get let down Johnny don't go, Johnny don't go, Johnny don't go Stay in town And Johnny don't go to Ballancolig where you always get so disappointed Johnny don't go, Johnny don't go, Johnny don't go Stay in town No, that's telling them, Johnny don't go to Ballincollig And um, there was a fascinating reaction to the song In that I did an interview with a big magazine said they were only laughing at me. They said, you'll never get nowhere writing songs like that. And I said, you can't say that to me, you know. They said, maybe send it to the Saw Doctors. But um, definitely they didn't see that it would have any market outside of Cork and Ballincollig. And I said, that's not how songs work, really. Because, like, by the time I get to Phoenix, it doesn't sell more in Phoenix than what it does in New York, necessarily. You know, um, songs about the place do not have their market in that place. Most of them are imaginary in the mind. But anyway, next thing, um, uh, Christy Moore did a version of it on his album, um, This Is The Day, and he rocked it out, and he did a very surreal uh, version of it, and he loved it, and he got very into it. He got into the whole psychology of the song, and he gave me a, a tremendous boost, and I got a very handsome royalty check, and I bought a very good car and drove out to Ballincollig, out the road here, uh, with Johnny Don't Go to Ballincollig, blazing on my new stereo, and that was a buzz. Then he did it again on an album called um, Live in Vicker Street, and he did it on the Bower on this time. 
and real whispery and crusty and the bore on. And again, he got into the surreal. Um, he changed little bits and he put in a kind of a talky uh, stream of consciousness, Johnny can't go nowhere piece in the middle. So that was lovely. Then I sang it one night in the Cobblestone Bar in um, Dublin, a great venue, and I had a golden ear there at one time. And a guy from Ballincollig came up to me and said, John, why did you have to go at us like that? Like, why didn't you say Douglas or uh, why didn't you start with Carrigaline and all this kind of crack? And um, anyway, it was a complaint from a Ballincollig um, resident uh, about my tone bashing. Uh, Johnny, don't go to Ballincollig where you always get so disappointed. So then I made a promise that I would write um, a follow-up song and I'd like to sing you my follow-up song now. It's called Beautiful Ballincollig. So I invented a kind of a spiel uh, when I started, when I went, so, uh, when I became a solo artist. I played in bands all my life, but then when I eventually did go solo, um, I made up a kind of a persona, you could say, with lots of jingo, jingoistic sayings like fair play to me, uh, will we be brilliant or what, well done everyone. Um, you know, I made up a whole kind of a whole load of um, shtick, you could call it. And uh, this is the stick that I made up about beautiful Balancholic. It goes like this. Well, I, that was the song called Johnny Don't Go to Balancholic. And I have to tell you that I did get into a lot of trouble for writing that song, a lot of trouble, especially with certain people from the town of Ballincollig who were actually, who were actually not a bit impressed. And I made him a solemn promise that I would write a follow-up song, that it would be called Beautiful Ballincollig, that, that it would be a far superior song, both in melody and in lyrics. So I often went out to Ballincollig, walked around, looked at the sky, looked at the ground, waiting for inspiration to strike. And it never happened. They all laugh when I say that then, like, if there was an audience here, you'd be laughing. Anyway, um, but anyway, um, but it never happened. Anyway, I did uh, eventually, after five years of hard work inside in the hit factory, uh, managed to write this song called Beautiful Balancholic, which I would be honored to perform for you here in Balancholic tonight. Fair play to me, who else is gonna do it? Thank you. It was one hundred. It was one hundred percent perspiration, not percent inspiration. Went into this next number, and it's finally finished now after five years of hard work inside in the hit factory. The melody, absolutely beautiful. Even though I say so myself, too good for them actually. If the truth be known, the words are all done and dusted now, off by heart. But I'm afraid the two do not go together properly in this next number, the lyrics and the melody, and that's where even a small bit of inspiration would have come in handy. But here we go, nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, with Beautiful Balancholic. See what I mean? Isn't that beautiful? Once upon a time, when I was a young fella, about 11 or 12, one place we used to go was called Balancholic Castle. It was the most beautiful place. We'd get together in the morning, round up the bicycles. Myself, Dave Murph, Johnny Isaac, Davy Isaac, Brendan Holland, maybe Richie Leonard, Jimmy O'Hay, and we'd ride out of town. Bozo the dog running along behind the bicycles in case we got attacked. He was a massive dog. Nobody knew who owned Bozo, but he'd followed us Isaac boys to the ends of the earth. 
Anyway, we'd stop at the shop and we'd ride out of town, out into the countryside. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the sun would be shining, the birds would be singing, out to Balancholic, up the back road, past the mill, down the hill, through the gap, and there, three fields across, there she stood. Beautiful. Balancholic castle, all shining in the morning sunlight, all gentle and noble like an ancient castle from a fairy tale. Well, we took the castle, we defended the castle, we fought and died for Ireland in Balancholic Castle, we climbed the tower. We lit the fire. Anyway, next thing, the sun climbed up into the sky and rolled down the other side. And that day ended, and the following day ended, and time went by. And next thing, unbelievably, incredibly, I grew to be a man. And I forgot all about that time in Balancholic Castle. Until, one day, I happen to be out that way. I happen to have some time on my hands. I thought I would go and visit the old castle and see how things stood with her. Well, I drove in my car out to Balancholic, up the back road, past the mill. No mill now anymore, only a load of big apartments called the granary. Anyway, there I went, down the hill, looking for the castle. No sign of any castle. Out the road, back in the road. I met a man by the side of the road. Where's the castle? Ah, he said. It's very hard to get to it now, he said. Over there, behind the trees. Because, ladies and gentlemen, a great forest of houses had grown in all the fields around Balancholic since I was a boy. And a great forest of thorn trees had grown all around the old castle itself. Well, I fought my way through the thorns and scratched and bleeding. I stumbled at last on the old keep and there she stood as beautiful as ever. Beautiful. Balancholic castle. All shining in the morning sunlight. All gentle and noble like an ancient castle from a fairy tale. About a million crushed and battered beer cans shining like gold and silver in the morning sunlight all around her feet. Well, I walked around and the memories came rushing back. I was wondering what happened to lads. I climbed the tower and I fell into a dream. And there, in the topmost turret of the topmost tower of Balancholic Castle, I saw the most beautiful woman you have ever seen, lying there on a bed of roses. She opened her eyes. John, she said, I thought you'd never get here. I know, I said, life's been tough, but here I am now. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, at that exact second, a freezing, chilling wind, a knifing, a bitter, 
a poisoned wind blew through the cold stone, glassless windows of the tower. And I turned around and she was gone. That's usually where the crowd join in with the singing lads. Da, da. And that's usually where I say, I don't want you. Where were you when I was dying of death there in the first verse? Like, anyway, where was I? Next thing, next thing, about 10 days later, I happened to be inside in this pub in town and I was introduced to this woman. We were introduced by a poet called Dermot O'Dolig. That doesn't matter. Anyway, I recognized her instantly as the woman I had glimpsed in my vision in the tower. After that, we got to know each other. And then, eventually, we fell in love. Slowly, but surely. And then, after that, we lived for a long time together. Together, for a long time after that, we lived happily ever Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. If there's any lies in it, they can stay there now. All I got for it was a pair of silver wings, a golden crown, and a place in heaven. Thank you. Well, that's beautiful, Balancholic, and they're delighted with it here in Balancholic, and all is forgiven, and it's safe for me to come here again. Um, I've enjoyed some great nights um, playing music in Balancholic since those days. And also, one year, I got the, uh, the ad for the local radio, uh, 96 and 103 FM, and the ad went like this. It was 29 seconds, as I recall. Hi, this is John Spillane. And I know I said, Johnny, don't go to Balancholic, but now I take it back. Because from the 3rd until the 18th of December, Balancholic free traders are offering a 40% discount with hundreds of free parking spaces and tons of great shopping. Is that brilliant or what? Thank you, that's my jingle. Uh, that was the first uh, jingle that I got, I think, on the radio. Um, I have a whole series of jingles going now. Um, so happy days. Thank you, Balancholic. And um, the truth is, I spent a lot of happy days in Balancholic as a kid. Uh, we used to work for farmers um, from about the age of about maybe 10 or 11 until about 15 or 16. Uh, we would, myself and my buddies, would come to Balancholic and get picked up by a lorry. Uh, we were working by, for a farmer called Dixon, and we would be taken to farms um, around Inniscarra, uh, or down in Timaleague. Uh, we uh, around Blarney, various parts of Cork, and uh, we were weeding beet uh, quite a bit, and we got paid by the day, and uh, it would be like a whole gang of teenagers let loose in a, in a huge fields of beet, uh, uh, pulling the weeds. Uh, also, a pick of potatoes. Uh, there was a lot of picking potatoes in the summertime, and uh, there were long, hot summer days and hard work, and um, we enjoyed picking potatoes, making a few bob. And I think I got my first guitar from money that I made picking potatoes for farmers around Balancholic. And I enjoyed uh, walking from Balancholic back home, which is only about two miles, really, uh, to Wilton. So that's the Balancholic Chronicles now. And um, 
um, somebody says uh, there's always another one in it, so we'll be looking for the um, the next song in the Chronicles. Also, I must mention that um, Balancholic Castle itself is a most beautiful place, and everything in the song is true. Um, and um, um, the castle, even though the tower is from the 19th century, and uh, there's a story about the tower, which I've, I've heard in a pub, but I'd like to get to the bottom of it, but it's, uh, it was built as a kind of a love token. Um, there is a beautiful romantic story about the tower, but the castle, the rest of the castle, is actually um, 13th century, uh, 12th, 13th century Norman keep by um, the first Normans that came here, and their surname was Col, C-O-L-L, and that's where Balancholic comes from. Um, Col, um, on Colach was the person whose surname was Col, and Bali on Holig, the, the town of the, um, the Col people. So they were a big Norman French family that came here uh, with Strongbow um, at that time. So now, um, moving right ahead, um, I have a new album coming out um, in 2021, and it's called 100 Snow White Horses. And since we, since we are here in the White Horse, uh, this is one of the White Horses, and um, I'd like to do some of my White Horse songs. And uh, firstly, though, I would like to do my, my favourite album, my favourite song of this forthcoming album. It's called Under That Old Clare Moon. And then I'll go on to the horses themselves. So I think the White Horse is such a beautiful image. I think it's a very classic image. Um, I've just done a recording of a local folk tale from uh, Monkstown, County Cork, which features a white horse as well. And I've written a song about a white horse um, in Bartlemy, which I'll get into later. But first, here's a song called um, Under That Old Clare Moon. When I was a singer, I had only one song that I wove from the sunlight and I rambling along. I tied it with rushes, I freed it with air, and it swept me along to the old County Clare. It went meet me tonight by moonlight under that old Clare moon. I chanted in Doolin, I sang it for no I went rattling and clattering on the old flaggy shore Where the cliffs of Kilkee, they challenged the sea And I sang like a thrush in the town of Kilrush I sang Meet Me Tonight by moonlight Under that old Clare moon Meet me tonight by moonlight under that old clear moon At old Spanish point where the ships they went down The moon she rose up with her great starry crown Her necklace of diamonds, her white wedding gown And she shed salty tears for the sailors who drowned She sang meet me tonight by moonlight under that old clear moon Meet me tonight by moonlight under that old clear moon A wonderful promise the old county clear there are melodies hanging from shelves in the air there's the maid at the barrels the hag at the churn there's a great flock of angels flying over the barren singing meet me tonight by moonlight under that old clear moon meet me tonight by moonlight under that old Clare moon. 
Every time I finish that song, I feel like starting it again. So that's Under That Old Clear Moon, and um, it's my favourite song from my forthcoming album, 100 Snow White Horses. And um, uh, let's get on to the horses. So let's leave the moon behind. So, um, so I first came up with the concept of 100 Snow White Horses, um, it could be 15 or 20 years ago, actually, and I had it as a, a song that never really got finished. And it's because I was in hospital, and I had... Um, what did I have? Tonsillitis, acute tonsillitis. I was in hospital for three days. Um, I was playing with a band called Nomos at the time, and we were living a fairly like kind of rock and roll, rough lifestyle. You could say there was um, there was a lot of late nights uh, gigging, uh, drinking and smoking, um, touring, and I think I just kind of you know. I needed to go to hospital for a few days, really, <laughs> and I got the, you know, the tonsils gave up on me. But I got, I was fine. I got out of hospital anyway after three days, and uh, but whatever, I, painkillers and um, I suppose medication I was on, I was quite out of it walking down Patrick Street, and I came up with this image of, um, I came up with these lyrics of 100 snow white horses, like an invisible um, herd of horses all around me in the air. And the song I was trying to write uh, was, um, he wished he was invisible and hiding in the air, 100 snow white horses all around him there. That was the start of it. But the song never got going, and you know, that happens with songs. But then, many, many years later, um, in the year 2016, four years ago, I was uh, employed to go to County Leash and to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the 1916 Rising by um, doing a lot of Irish language songs with the kids from County Leash. Um, with Music Generation Leash and the Leash um, Arts Office. And they've been very good to me in that county. They seem to have always kind of got me and bring me up for stuff. So um, I've done quite a bit of songwriting and um, etc. So I was going around to all the primary schools and I was doing all Irish language uh, songs. Or Roshet of Ahawalia, Begayan of Homar, and of Thor. And um, it was a residency I had and I was staying in Strad Valley, County Leash. And... Um, and um, I knew that they would love me to write them, write them a song, even though they didn't, I wasn't employed to write a song or hired to write a song, but they gave me so much work that I wrote the song. And um, I took the 100 Snow White Horses down off the shelf of my imagination, and I tied it into the, um, into the occasion, which was the 100th anniversary of uh, 1916. And the song is called 100 Snow White Horses, and I did it especially for uh, Joe Carey here in the White Horse in Balancholic. And um, I'm going to continue with the horse uh, team uh, later in this gig, but later in my life as well. We've got a number of mir miraculous uh, white horse legends uh, going on. Um, we've got the legend of the giant stairs in Monkstown County Cork. We've got the most beautiful one in Lame Lara, Lame Lorch, the Leap of the Mare, uh, which is over by Middleton. And that's a miraculous uh, white horse. Um, we've got Lame Egon of Oin in Lep, uh, O'Donovan's Leap. So I don't know what colour that horse was, but we can, we can paint that horse white. Uh, we've got the Priest's Leap. Um, so there's a lot of folklore to be explored. Um, anyway, here we go with the song. So what I did was I took, um, there's a famous march called the March of the Kings of Leash. Um, actually, Steve Cooney, who's all the rage at the moment, who's been greatly acknowledged, uh, there's a stunning version of it on the guitar, but it's played on pipes uh, in Scotland and in Ireland. The Chieftains did it, the March of the Kings of Leash. Um. Anyway, I, I, I should be able to play the march, but I am able to play it, but I haven't really got it on the tips of my fingers, but it's... Um,
Yeah. Anyway, I'm falling off, but uh, that's a slightly dodgy version of a well-known era called The March of the Kings of Leash. So when I was writing a song about um, 2016, 1916 in Leash, I used um, not the melody of the march, but the, I used the idea of the march, and I visualised what was in the march of the Kings of Leash and what was in the march of the king, Kings of Leash um, in this um, kind of surreal vis visualization or a guided um, visualization of the march is what's in the song. Long-winded um, introduction to a long song. Um, so it goes like this. One hundred stars are burning bright above the old sleeve bloom tonight. One hundred snow white horses in the march of the kings of Leash. One hundred years have come and gone. One hundred journeys round the sun. One hundred golden torches in the march of the kings of Leash. In the march of the kings of Leash. One hundred snow white horses. One hundred golden bridles. The silver reins a jingling in the march of the kings of Leash. Seven royal banners, three times seven pipers, one hundred golden harpers in the march of the kings of Leash. In the march of the kings of Leash. When only Mac Rory O'Gomore fell with sword in hand, a hungry pack of Saxon wolves came howling through the land. The seven tribes of Leisha were scattered to the wind. But these settlers, they would have no peace, while one or more remained in Leash. A shot rang out on an Easter night, a whip crack volley split the light. Arise, arise, cried Pierce, cried Pierce, hear Ireland's lonely cry. One hundred stars are burning bright above the old sleeve bloom tonight. One hundred snow white horses in the march of the kings of Leash. One hundred golden bridles, the silver reins a jingling. One hundred golden harpers in the march of the kings of Leash. The scent of Gorse and juniper round the march of the kings of Leash. One thousand blue cloaked warriors like a wave on the wild blue sea. One thousand loyal heroes in the march of the kings of Leash. Five hundred men with purple spears, their shields of red and golden. Five hundred purple spearsmen in the march of the kings of Leash. What warrior now comes flashing o'er the plain? In his chariot of white bronze, on he masked the mighty down from his tower of stone. Be afraid, his weapons trembling in his hands. Hear the shriek of the morrigan down from Wolf Hill. On vive, on vive, hear the black howl of the banshee over the plain. The nor and the barrow run red with blood. A horn, a horn, oh. One hundred stars are burning bright above the old sleeve bloom tonight. One hundred snow white horses in the march of the kings of Leash. Three times fifty young men in the march of the kings of Leash. There is not one among them but is the son of a king and a queen. But is the son of a king and a queen, a maiden in her chariot, proud and wise and beautiful, drawn by two black horses in the march of the kings of Leash, in the march of the kings of Leash.
Mensch. Whew. Thanks, lads. That's the march of the Kings of Leash. Or no, it's 100 Snow White Horses. So um, that's quite a long song. And um, I never thought that song would make it onto the record, to be honest. Uh, I went to London two years ago to make a new record with my friend John Reynolds and my friend Pauline Scanlon. And Pauline is the singer who, from Dingle who does beautiful um, intertwining harmonies and backing vocals in her gossamer-like um, uh, beautiful voice. And John is the producer. And I sent John, I think, 23 songs on a list. And he put little hearts next to 11 of them. And he picked that song, which I never thought would have been picked. But um, when it was picked, you know, I'm happy to, uh, um, I believe in teamwork, and I'm happy, you know, that John picked the songs. And uh, he picked three of the most unlikely ones. And, he, and he's done that in the past as well. Uh, the weirder stuff that I do is the stuff that is most attractive to John Reynolds. And uh, I suppose it's a bit, you know, more outrageous. So he picked 100 Snow White Horses, and since it was going on the record, I had to make it the title track, because um, people love the sound of it. And uh, when you say to people, I, my record is called 100 Snow White Horses, people say, oh, I'll have a bit of that. So, um, so that work is to be continued uh, with the uh, next series of songs following the mythological trail um, with the Liam Lara song, and uh, the Monkstown song, which is called uh, The Legend of the Giant Stairs. So I'm kind of waffling a small bit now, but that's not what harm. So um, maybe I should do another one of the new songs. Um, and um, this is a song called The Dawn Chorus. And um, I wrote a song for a gig that I got called Mooney Goes Wild on One, which is a nature programme on RTE Radio here in Ireland. And... Um, the day I got the gig was the 1st of May, it may be four or five years ago now, and um, it was the 1st of May and they were celebrating the dawn chorus, the singing of the birds, and they followed the trail of the bird song from Russia to Ireland, and they started at Russia, at, well, or midnight, but their dawn, and uh, they had, had recordings of them um, on radio stations through Russia, over through Finland, uh, down into Scotland, and into Ireland, and um, I was uh, employed to sing my song called The Dance of the Cherry Trees, which is a late April, early May, springtime blossom song, and they said to me, what will you sing for your second song? And I said, I'll write something. And uh, this is what we do in the Hit Factory sometimes, like invent situations where you get deadlines and you, you kind of give yourself the gig, or you give them the gig to give you the gig. So um, I do this song for you called The Dawn Chorus. On the recording of this, um, at the end of the song, I put in a big long list of uh, birds, uh, which I don't have by heart, but um, uh, you'll enjoy that when you hear the record. But here's my little song called uh, The Dawn Chorus. Thanks, lads. So far, so good. When the morning breaks, the light comes flooding Down on all our lives, the air is singing Who sings the stars down from the darkness? Who cracks open the dawn? Us, us, cry the blackbird and the thrush Us, us, cry the redbreast robins Us, us Cry a band of wrens singing in the fresh green branches All join in the dawn chorus No words can describe the music of the tribes of the air Who sings away the hag of winter Who sings the sun up into the morning Who Cracks open the dawn Us, us, cry the blackbird and the thrush Us, us, 
cried a redbreast robins. Us, us, cry a band of wrens, singing in the fresh green branches. All join in the dawn chorus. All the best musicians were singers. All the best singers were birds who sings the sun up into the morning, who sings away the hag of winter, hearts held high, who cracks open the dawn. Us, us, cried a blackbird and a thrush. Us, us, cried a redbreast robins. Us, us, cry a band of wrens singing. In the fresh green branches, all join in the dawn chorus. All join in the dawn chorus. All join in the dawn chorus. Thank you, the Dawn Chorus. No? So, yeah, I'm very happy with my new album, 100 Snow White Horses. I think there's four of the songs on it are as good as anything I've done. So, uh, some of them then are more experimental and um, different. So, um, happy days. Um, since then, um, since I've recorded my new record, um, I've been writing a lot of more new songs. And uh, I'm, I'm having a great year uh, with songs at the moment. And I've opened my um, hit factory uh, to the public. And um, it started last year when I did a funded campaign for the new album. And one of the rewards in my funded was that I would um, write a song for a thousand euros. And I got five of those. And I've written three and two are yet outstanding because of COVID year, etc. Um, one involves, you know, going to Dingle and living the song. Um, and stuff like that. So um, I've been writing a lot of songs at home for private uh, people, and maybe I'll just do a few verses, uh, verses of the song that I've most recently finished. And um, I got a gig to write a song about a flower garden in Austin, Texas. So in one way, the world is closing down with the coronavirus, but in, a, in another way, it's opening up because people who are watching streaming now can be watching from anywhere in the world. Uh, on the internet, um, whereas in the past they wouldn't have been able to get into the gig. So I'll do a few verses of a new song that I'm very um, happy about, um, called Ah, uh, The Garden. And um, this garden is in Austin, Texas, but you could write a song about uh, gardens anywhere. I love gardening myself, and um, I'll give you a few verses. There are ten verses in the song, and it's a, like, it's a long song, so I'll just do a bit of it. Thanks very much. More like that, I think. Ah, the garden. This is the garden that is loved. Angel trumpets call the soul to wonder. Flowers like stars climb golden trellis. No questions are asked of the roses. Daisies dream in quiet borders this is the garden that is loved ah the garden magnolias are ghostly in the texas moonlight there is no one there to see them dancing the garden i want is this garden snow white Rambling rose, Rosa Fortuniana Shines like the stars in the mesquite tree Ah, the garden Bury me here beneath the old mesquite Cover me over with rambling roses Make me a bed of love in a mist 
bring me great armfuls of glad iolas I will make my bed here and wait for the moon Ah, the garden Who wants to drown in an ocean of sweet peas this summer? This spring, this spring is the spring of the hundreds of flowers. Bring me iris, bring me grey armfuls of gladiolus by a low garden wall. Bury me here beneath the mesquite tree. At the garden. Thank you. That's an excerpt from a, a song that I've just finished. Ten verses about um, a flower garden in Austin, Texas. I have stood in that flower garden, and I wrote it for my friends Vicky and Tom Belanowski from from Austin. So um, that's where I'm at, writing lots of songs. And then I got the gig to write a song for the unicorn, which is another white horse. So. Um, um, on the Cork and Kerry border, um, just when you go over the County Bones, which is already, uh, as we know, a kind of a magical, mythical place, and features, of course, in the Wackfell a little whiskey in the jar, as I was going over the Cork and Kerry mountains and all that. Um, and there is a statue of a unicorn, and it's rearing on its hind legs high on a, on a rock above the um, road, and it's a beautiful part of the road, because opposite it you have um, the Church of Our Lady of the Wayside, which is a beautiful title. You've got the Clyde Valley, and it's also very rich in Irish mythology because you've got the Paps of Danon, which are the breasts of the mother goddess, um, Danu, uh, and you've got the village of Shrone, um, and you've got the Cairns on the mountainside. So um, the place is full of... It's also a Gaeltacht, uh, Irish-speaking area. I think Clyde might be or might not be in the Gaeltacht. And um, you know when you're in the Gaeltacht when there's no houses. It says fall to Gary and Goyaltucht, welcome to uh, Goyaltucht, and there's nobody, nobody living there. <laughs> so that's what's left of the Goyaltucht, really, is the wilds, you could say. So anyway, um, also there's a great song in Kule called My Pup Came Back from Cleadoch, uh, which is a very funny song about a sheepdog who returned bedraggled from Cleadoch to uh, Kule. So um, for the crack, I'll do a little bit of the song. Um, and... Um, Song about a unicorn, and I wrote this for a gig I got for a, a PR company in Cork City called Fusion PR, and the unicorn is the logo of the company. And um, for the crack, um, I've got two different melodies to this song, um, you know, because the song is not really settled down. Um, but um, maybe you might enjoy it anyway. Thanks. Work in uh, progress, lads. So uh, let me think now. Um, Actually, the unicorn itself is not a unicorn. Um, it's called Uncoppel Bawn, the white horse, and it is meant to be a Gaelic war horse uh, with a helmet, and on the helmet is a one horn sticking up, as if Gaelic war horses had helmets with a horn, a unicorn um, sticking out of them. But that's what they physically is there in the statue. But everyone calls it a unicorn, of course, and it's the most unlikely... Um, it's the most unlikely thing to see on the Cork and Kerry border. But uh, here we go, lads. Um, this is uh, Melody 1. On the Cork and Kerry mountains, in a place called the County Bounds, been the borders of the mind, where the mountain streams are born, where near grew a root of corn, I have glimpsed her in the twilight, the unicorn. Perhaps a trick of the twilight, perhaps a trick of the mind She is breaking free of her shackles, she is leaving her past behind She will not lie down in your stable, she will not be tied down She is pure imagination, and she roams in the county bounds In the court mountains high in the county bounds in the borderlands of the mind where the lonesome crow he flies 
Where flies are lonesome crow, where the sally trees all grow, where ne'er grew a root of corn, where the mountain streams are born. I looked up and I could have sworn that rearing in the moonlight was a unicorn. Perhaps a trick of the sunlight, perhaps a trick of the mind. She is breaking free of her shackles, she is leaving the past behind. She will not lie down in any stable, she will not be tied down. She is pure imagination, and she roams in the county bounds. That's my unicorn song. Uh, that's melody one. Melody two is... Cork and carry borders in the borders of the mind Where the mountain streams are born Where ne'er grew a root of corn I have glimpsed her in the twilight The unicorn Da di atten di tan ta dum da atten di diddle diddle dum dum She won't lie down in any stable She will not be chained down She is pure imagination and she roams in the county bones. There you are. That's the song I'm working on at the moment. Um, it feels like dodgy territory writing a song about a unicorn because you would be afraid of straying into territory that might be corny or cheesy or uncool or naff. And we don't want to be naff, lads. We want to be cool. But then, any time I hear um, the voices saying, oh, you can't do that, then I say, you've got to do it, John. These are the places we want to go. And these are the voices that, of negativity that we have to overcome. And um, these are the... Um, I do a lot of songwriting workshops and I encourage people um, not to listen to those voices and to do it regardless and to be positive. And so I will be positive about my unicorn song and I'll finish it out. And um, thanks so much. Thanks so much. Well, I got a request from Joe Philpott of Ruby Horse to sing this song called Passage West that I wrote. And uh, I've been living in the town of Passage West, County Cork, uh, for maybe 20 years now. And um, anyway, um, at one time, when I had been there for a few years, uh, the approach was made to me by a member of the local community who um, got off a bicycle and strode towards me in the middle of the street and pressed a book into my hand and said, John, would you ever write a song for Passage West? Well, um, I was delighted with his approach, and I said to him, Walty, I says, uh, congratulations, Walty, you certainly come to the right place. And then I wrote a song called Passage West. The book that he gave me was called um, The History of Passage West and Monkstown, The Maritime Gateway to Cork. And it had the history of the, of the town, and it's a fabulous uh, area, full of maritime history, full of folklore, a um, lot of stuff going on there. So here's my song, Passage West. <laughs> Passage West, the sun was sinking down to rest. The river to the stars confessed, twas the dark haired woman I loved best. We wandered down by the chapel square, and there was magic in the air, and Mother Nature gently pressed. The burning river to her breast I offered her a golden ring My hand, my heart and everything I offered her a sweet love nest By the flowing banks of Passage West Oh love, will you go, will you go, will you go? Oh love, will you stay, will you stay, will you stay? Oh love, will you go, will you go, will you go? Oh love, will you stay, will you stay, will you stay? We watched the ferry come and go 
We watch the river ebb and flow The tide breathe in, the tide breathe out We watched the passage flowers grow The ghostly forms of the hungry years In sad procession did appear With hope and sorrow made their way For their passage west to America Oh love will you go, will you go, will you go Oh love will you stay, will you stay, will you stay Oh love will you go, will you go, will you go Oh love will you stay, will you stay, will you stay The famine queen stood tall and proud On either bank the people bowed From passage west came a Athenian yell Rule Britannia, rule in hell The grass grows green on the other side And mighty ships sail out the tide to far-flung harbours across the sea Far away from passage, my love and me Oh love, will you go, will you go, will you go Oh love, will you stay, will you stay, will you stay Oh love, will you go, will you go, will you go Oh love, will you stay, will you stay, will you stay I met my love in passage west The sun was sinking down to rest The river to the stars confessed T'was the dark-haired woman I loved best Thank you. Thanks, lads. Yeah, very, very enjoyable. Thanks so much. Thank you.